मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स असलकुम हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट योर होम्स मे अल्ला कीप यू हेल्दी एंड सेफ आमीन क्लास थ्री आई एम मारिया तैयब योर इस्लामिया टीचर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द गाइडेड असेसमेंट दैट इज द ऑनलाइन गाइडेड असेसमेंट ऑफ द टॉपिक द इवेंट्स इन द लाइफ ऑफ हज़रत मोहम्मद रसूल ख़ातिमनबी सल वसम बिफोर प्रॉफिट हुड फ्राम टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर थर्टी नाइन टिल फोर्टी टू एंड दिस गाइडेड असेसमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेन मार्क्स सो लेट्स मूव ऑन द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर टूडे दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू द रेनफोर्समेंट ऑफ द टॉपिक थ्रू अ गाइडेड असेसमेंट so before taking uh, the assessment i would like to discuss the uh, brief points brief brief descriptive points uh, and i am going to give you a quick review of the whole topic uh, so let's start the discussion points Ye- yes this uh, before starting this topic bef- uh, i would like to tell you the uh, background with the about the condition of arabia before the advent of islam The condition of Arabia before the advent of Islam was very poor. People of Arabia were caught up in all kinds of uh, evil actions and bad habits like fighting, stealing and gambling, etc. Now uh, then first sub topic is sign of prophethood. At the age of 12 years He sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam started grazing goats and was learning trade as well from his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib The Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam used to accompany his uncle Abu Talib on his travels to Syria and Yemen On the trip to Syria they both stopped near the city of Basra where they met a monk named Bahira Bahira was a monk there and he has just uh, read uh, the bible so he uh, know about the signs of the last prophet Bahira told Abu Talib that all signs of future last prophet are present in hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin so take him back and protect him from jews this was very important sign for his forthcoming status the war of fujar the next sub topic is the war of fujar there was a war between the tribes of quraish and kas This war was actually between the two tribes that was between two major tribes of the Arabia of Makkah that was Quraysh and Kas but all the almost all the tribes were participating in this war and it was the war of Fujar at that time he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin was only 14 to 15 years old he didn't actually fight in this war but just help his uncle by passing the arrows so it was the first uh, fight or battle uh, of his life the first peace treaty <clears throat> the people of arabia tired of constant pointless fighting and they want to stop this fighting between the tribes which killed many people observing the situation the prophet's uncle zubair bin abdul mutalib suggested to stop this pointless fighting and made a treaty named halful fuzul the treaty was so named because all the members of most of the members uh, of this uh, treaty has the had fuzul as a part of their name so that's why this treaty was named as halful fuzul half means oath keeping the oath so the halful fuzul collectively means the oath of fuzla 
and uh, in this treaty this peace treaty they, they decided to uh, maintain the peace in the city of makkah in, in arabia so it was consisting of some specific conditions it was consisting of uh, five basic conditions first condition was we will establish peace in the country number two we will protect the travelers from the decoys number three we will help the poor four if anyone is unjustly abused we will help them number five we will not allow any tyrant to live in mecca so these were the basic five uh, conditions of the first peace treaty helpful for zul okay when the peace was maintained in the city of mecca then the people of mecca felt that the uh, building of khana kaaba needed the renovation after hazrat adam alaihi salam hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and his son hazrat ismail alaihi salam rebuilt the kaaba after 2500 years the structure of kaaba needed renovation because the walls of kaaba were collapsed because of rain or might be possible because uh, because of uh, flood so that's why everyone decided to rebuild more stronger and taller walls of kaaba so the various tribes divided the work among themselves to build the to construct the kaaba <clears throat> now when the construction of kaaba was going on at that time the uh, there was a stone hajre aswad hajre aswad is uh, first of all i would like to tell you what is hajre aswad actually hajre aswad is a black stone sent from heaven in arabic hajr means stone and aswad means black and during the construction of kaaba uh, it was considered to be a very auspicious a stone so that's why during the construction of kaaba every tribe want to fix that auspicious this auspicious stone with their own hands and this argument took such a uh, turn that swords were drawn so that's why conflict of fixing of black stone during the rebuilding of khana kaaba was raised at that time uh, an old peep an, an old person and a respectable person suggested that uh, next morning who will enter the kaaba first in the morning who the, uh, that person will decide that who will fix the black stone this suggestion was accepted by everyone and do you know who was that person who entered the kaaba first in the next morning yes the next morning when they reached there the prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was already there it means it was he was hazrat muhammad rasulullah khatimun nabiyyin sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam who entered the kaaba first of all so the people felt the people of makkah felt pleased since he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was well known for his truthfulness honesty and sense a sense of justice so everyone agreed to uh, act upon the command and suggestion of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so over holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin resolved the conflict whole conflict very wisely he sent for a sheet of cloth placed hajr aswad on it and asked of the chieftains of all the tribes to carry the stone to the place where it had to be fixed they did so and then he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam picked up the hajre aswad and set it with the uh, in the wall himself in this way due to holy prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's intelligent who a major war was averted even before it began from this point you can guess that how much he was honest and truthful and how good sense of justice he would have now let's move on next sub topic is marriage hazrat khadija razi allah taala anhu was a wealthy widow and was very well respected and was called tahira 
which means the pure one he was a wealthy widow but he was very he was considered to be a very well respected woman and that's why the people of makka gave him gave her a title tahira and tahira means the pure one from this title you can guess that how much she was considered to be a respectable woman in the city of makka at that time it was the tradition in arabia that wealthy people would give their money to traders so that it may be used for trading and a profit made would be handed over to them she uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was an honest trader at that time so she heard about his on uh, she heard about his honesty so he she requested him to take her goods for trading purposes so the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam accepted her request and he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam accompanied by her slave maisara and took her goods to syria and he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and a very good good prophet so he went to syria with her slave for trading purposes and they earned a, they he earned a very good profit over there when they returned maisara praised him highly and the told her about his honesty hazrat khadija radhi allah taala anhu was very impressed about his uh, for his uh, honesty and excellent manners so she sent him a proposal of marriage in the answer holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin consulted his uncle abu talib and then they were married in a very simple ceremony so it was all i have given a just brief description of all the sub topics to review all the topic of the events of life of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam before prophet hod i hope that now the topic is now recall you, you have recalled the whole topic very well now it's the time uh, for uh, the guided written guided assessment are you ready for it uh, students now let's move on here i have planned a guided assessment which consists of 10 marks first of all before starting the assessment you all are supposed to open up your islamiyat notebooks you are supposed to do this assessment on islamiyat notebook so be quick prepare your notebook write down the date and day as you can watch on your screen <clears throat> write down 24th may 2021 in its very right corner and then write down monday with the capital m in its very left corner write class work with the capital c in the middle of the top line after writing the date and day first of all you are supposed to write the topic the events in the life of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin before prophet hod and students don't forget to underline the topic before starting the assessment here i have planned three questions for you which are very easy uh, questions and i think you can solve with these easily you all are very intelligent people i hope you can do your assessment very well this paragraph uh, question number 1 is complete the close passage this paragraph is taken from the very first page that is textbook page number 38 uh, so you people uh, have already read about it and i have given a brief description about this uh, paragraph Uh, this topic uh, uh, first of all i am going to read the close passage then you people are supposed to fill in the blanks properly at the time 
ہولی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم خاتم النبیین واز بورن اٹ واز اے ٹریڈیشن ٹو سینڈ ینگ بوائز فار گریزنگ ڈیش یس اسٹوڈینٹس وائل ریڈنگ دس پیراگراف آئی ہیو ٹولڈ یو دیٹ واٹ واز دا ٹریڈیشن ایٹ دا ٹائم ایٹ دا ٹائم وین ہولی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ینگ بوائز آر سینڈ فار گریزنگ واٹ here obviously you might uh, you must uh, write the name of some animal okay you must write about some animal uh, obviously young boys sent for grazing dash think about it carefully and then fill in this blank when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatimun nabiyyin was dash years old He also started grazing goats. Yes, when the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam khatibu nabiyyin was a young boy. At that time, what was the age of Holy Prophet? In this blank, you people are supposed at what age, how much old he was when he started grazing goats. And at the same time, he started learning dash yes if you recall the uh, that uh, subtopic that the signs of prophethood then you must be, be clear about it that when he was what was the age of that uh, of holy prophet at that time when he started grazing goats they think about it and write over here the age of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam at that time in numbers in digit form is it clear to you and then at that time he started grazing goats and at the same time he started learning dash from his uncle what did he start learning at that time two things two occupations first one was grazing goats and what was the age of the uh, of him and what was the other occupation but he uh, what did he start learning about that okay it's very simple he started learning about uh, he started learning dash as well from his uncle hazrat dash obviously here you are supposed to write down the name of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's uncle obviously it is very simple here you will write which uncle uh, brought him up after the death of his uh, Uh, is a grandfather he uh, the, uh, which uncle brought him up so think about it carefully and write down the name of his uncle and write down over here because uh, there was a, he was uh, there was a, some one specific uh, one uncle who brought him up who make him learn who make him able to learn about different uh, occupations and he uh, uh, his uncle loved him too much so that's why just think about the name of his uncle and write over here this closed passage consists of only four blanks okay so in the first i'm going to repeat that in the first blank you are obviously it is about grazing what here you must write the name of some animal then here you are supposed to write the age of holy prophet at that time when he started learning uh, when he started grazing goats and at the same time he started learning which occupation from his uncle and in the last blank you are supposed to write the name of his uncle from which uncle he started the, the other occupation and with uh, with which uncle he went to the city of uh, in the country of yemen and syria just think about it it's very easy don't worry all the assessment is easy and you can do it don't worry about it and just think carefully recall all the major points basic points of the topic then it will be more easy for you now let's move on here the question number 2 and 3 answer these questions here i have planned two theory questions for you <clears throat> so let's start question number 2 is write down any three conditions of the treaty halful fuzul 
yes if you people have learned the helpful for zool the subtopic the first peace treaty that was helpful for zool very well then this question will not be difficult for you at all here you are supposed to write nothing about helpful for zool you are just supposed to write only three conditions as uh, during the uh, recalling re uh, giving the brief description i have told you the five there were five basic conditions of, uh, of the first peace treaty helpful for zool but you people are supposed to write any three of them okay it's your own choice that which three conditions you will choose write down choose and write any three out of the five uh, conditions of the uh, first peace treaty helpful for zool so in this way you are supposed to write number 1 2 and 3 only three conditions of helpful for zool here in the book five conditions on total are mentioned over there but you people i am uh, going to repeat that you people are supposed to do only write down over here only three conditions of the topic helpful for uh, conditions of the first treaty helpful for zool i think you got my point and you understand the question well and you must write down over here uh, or uh, any three of the conditions obviously all that conditions were about the to maintain the, the discipline to maintain the peace in the city of makka and that all five conditions were very simple very easy what conditions must be required to maintain the discipline and peace in the country these five conditions are just about that think carefully recall the five all five conditions and write down any three conditions which are very clear to you okay obviously to maintain the uh, peace to maintain the discipline what you should do you you all are very well known about it okay write down in uh, three conditions now question number 3 who was hazrat khadija razi allah taala anhu what specific title was given to her and write down its meaning as well here in the question number 3 i have asked three simple things okay this question is uh, in this question i have asked three simple things so three major things you have to answer in this question who was hazrat khadija razi allah taala anhu what specific title was given to her and write down its meaning as well first of all you are supposed to write hazrat about hazrat khadija who was hazrat khadija okay you will write who was hazrat khadija after marriage to holy prophet before marriage to holy prophet what was her status who was she so you will must write who was hazrat khadija razi allah taala anhu and uh, before the ma marriage of uh, when hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam didn't marry to her uh, before his, her marriage to holy prophet what specific title was given by the people of makkah to her as she was considered i have told you that she was considered to be a very respectable and honorable lady at that time so what according to this status what specific title was given to her think about it carefully and not only write down the top uh, title you are supposed to write down the title in uh, inverted commas and as well as write down its meaning okay write down first of all write down what you are supposed to write down the answer of question number 3 in the form of paragraph not in the form of bullets or points 1 2 3 okay write down in the form of paragraph that who was she before marriage you can write after marriage you can write who was she what specific title was given to her and what was the meaning of that title simple three things i have asked in this questions so you people i think this uh, you can answer you people are very intelligent I hope that I am sure about you people are uh, able to answer all these three questions. Okay, this is not difficult at all. Uh, first question is very easy. It is complete the close passage. Question number two is 
uh, in question number two you are supposed to write three basic uh, conditions of uh, the helpful fazool out of the five conditions total are five but you will write only three conditions of helpful fazool p straight e and in question number three you will write just answer that who was other khadija what was title given by the people of arabia people of makkah to her and what was the meaning of that specific title simple not difficult question at all so try your best to do your assessment on your own without your uh, help of your parents or your teachers okay do it on your own i uh, try my best to guide about the uh, assessment properly i hope you uh, i hope you understand my all the instructions and i hope that you must try to act upon my instructions and do your assessment very well don't forget that you are supposed to do your assessment on your islamiyat notebook in a very neat and clean and legible writing got it so have a good day allah hafiz